Hello friends and felines and welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're venturing onto my channel for the first time today. If you're someone who loves makeup and are obsessed with cats, then this is the channel for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So for today's video, I have a makeup haul for you. I have stuff from Ulta and from Sephora from National Lipstick Day. I went a little crazy and bought some stuff as well as some goodies I picked up for my birthday and the free birthday gifts that are included. So if you would like to see what I got, then definitely keep on watching. Alright, so before I get started, I just want you guys to ignore my eyes right now. This eye is like half shut because apparently it's too tired to stay awake which occasionally happens. And then this eye might still be a little red because I got some eyeshadow in it and I'm really hoping I don't get an eye infection. So you'll have to stay tuned for that video, hopefully on Wednesday. So first off, I'm gonna go through all the stuff I got on National Lipstick Day because you know there are a bunch of deals on that day. So I went to Ulta for my shopping and I'm going to start off with the first thing, which was actually a free gift. Um, so I think it was like if you spent $75. Yes, I know, I have a problem. You get a free tote. Unfortunately, the tote that I wanted was already sold out. So I picked up this one instead, which I mean, it's still cute. I mean, it's very basic. Um, it's kind of flimsy. One big pocket on the inside and then a little small zip pocket right here. But again, I think it's big enough to hold my laptop, which I've been kind of wanting more of a tote type purse so I could fit my laptop in there. And I think it would fit in there. So it's still super cute. I mean, it's basic, it's simple, it's a little flimsy, but it was free with your purchase of $75 or more. All right. And then since it's National Lipstick Day, you also get a bag of goodies. I think it was like 10 products um, that you could choose from. Um, but I'll get into that after I go through the stuff I already bought. When I say I went crazy, I mean, I, I didn't go super crazy. I don't have a lot of products from National Lipstick Day, but a lot of it was buy one, get one half off. And that's kind of in the section that I shopped for. Um, but first things first, not a lip product. This was on sale and I figured why not try it because I, I forget how much it was, but it was really, really, really cheap. So this is the Stila Hide and Cheek Fluid Foundation. Um, I got it in the shade light medium and so this is supposed to have a light liquid texture um skin loving nurturing light medium buildable coverage natural satin finish so i'm hoping that this shade will match and hopefully i will like it um i'm not going to do a try on video today because obviously i already have makeup on but i will be filming a video where i try on new makeup Okay, well, <laughs> the cap already came off, so that's a good start. Um, but I will be filming a video where I try a bunch of new makeup that I bought. Might not be the newest of the new, but definitely new to me. So this is what the foundation looks like. Super, super cute. Just really hoping that it's gonna be my shade. Hmm. I'm like shaking, except so shake well before using, and it seems like it's very, very liquidy. So hopefully it's not too liquidy. So now we're going to get into the lip products. I have Kylie, I have Lipstick Clean, I have Smashbox, and I have Anastasia and Morphe products. So first we're going to go in with Kylie. I got the Kylie Jenner High Gloss. I don't have any glosses from her. I have a couple of lip products, but honestly a lot of the lip products aren't my favorites. It just depends on the formula. So this is the shade Diva. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch everything at the end so you guys can see it up close. But this is what the component looks like, super cute. I feel like there's this and then the KKW packaging, which are similar. And then there's also the new Maybelline glosses that kind of like mimic that packaging, which is like super simple, but super cute. So I haven't been able to find any of the Maybelline glosses yet, but when I do, trust me, I will be picking them up. So next I got a lip from Smashbox. This is the Always On Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Throwback Jam. I feel like Smashbox liquid lips have a very, very high and powerful like stain capability. So I wanted to pick up another one of these, but 
that is the shade. I try to go for some that I really don't have, um, but this is a nice like berry shade. Next, I picked up something from Lipstick Queen. I haven't picked up anything from this before. I don't even remember if I've heard of this brand before, but looking at the reviews, they had pretty decent reviews. So this is from Nothing But The Nudes, and this is called The Whole Truth. So this is the packaging, a nice simple little lipstick bullet. And that's what it looks like. All right, so next we have a liquid lip by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is in the shade Seraphine. I love Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lips. Some of their lipstick bullets aren't the best. And I think I only have one other shade um, from Anastasia. So this one is a nice red. I definitely need more red liquid lips. Um, I feel like there's not a lot that I really like, so I wanted to get a lot more reds. Now moving on to Morphe. I got two liquid lips, I believe, and then one lip gloss. Yes. So I got a liquid lip in the shade Vanity. I think this one is more of a pink shade. So I haven't tried anything from Morphe. Um, I just like the packaging. It's very unique. Um, so hopefully the formula is good. I'm excited to try them. Then the other shade liquid lip I got was in Hot Shot, so this is going to be another red shade. Apparently I can't open the boxes without ripping them, so that's what the red looks like. And then I got a lip gloss in the shade Hot Shot, um, so you could put it on over the red, because I realized I don't have a red lip gloss. So if I want a more glossy red lip instead of like a matte one, um, yeah, that's what the lip gloss looks like. All right, so first up we have the Kylie High Gloss in the shade Diva. This stuff smells amazing. Then we move on to the Smashbox Liquid Lip in the shade Throwback Jam. Next we have Lipstick Queen in the shade The Whole Truth. Then the Anastasia Beverly Hills shade in Seraphine. Then the Morphe shade Vanity. Then moving down here, we have the Hot Shot Liquid Lip, and then next to it is the Hot Shot Gloss. And these are all so pretty. So excited to be able to try them out on the lips and see how they perform and see how long lasting they are. So I just want to show you guys a quick little makeup wipe test. I took a makeup wipe to the back of my hand from all the swatches, and this is what remains. So our winner for staying power so far is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lip right here. And then I would say second place would be the Smashbox one. I took that one um, a little bit more scrubbing to get off. Um, but obviously the gloss and like the lipstick bullet came off really easily. But I mean this ABH liquid lip <laughs> won't come off. Alright, so it took some really, really hard scrubbing of that makeup wipe to get it off. But I think I got most of them off. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the little free 10-piece sampler kit that we got um, with that purchase. Let's dump all this out and see what was included. All right, so some of these are more full size products and some of them are more um, sample size products. So the first one we have is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. I didn't think a gloss could be pro matte, but okay. Hold up, I need a magnifier to see this. Statement Nude, I think. So that's what it looks like. Again, I'm gonna swatch all of these at the end after showing. All right, so next we have a Limp Plumping Gloss by e.l.f. in the shade Champagne Glam. That's what that looks like. We have another Hydrating Lip Plumper from Grande Lips. Um, I don't know if this one has a shade. I don't see anything. Oh, it clicked. Why did it click? Oh, okay, so it's got like that type of tip, and I think if you like click it, it will come up. But I'm not going to keep messing with that at the moment. I haven't really tried anything from Grande except for their mascara, which I think is pretty decent. So that will be fun to try. All right, next we have something from Too Faced. This is the Rich and Dazzling High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss in the shade Sunset Crush. It looks like a Stila liquid eyeshadow. So that's super pretty. All right, now we have something from Pixie. This is cute. Oh, yeah? Is it cute, Artemis? This is the Glossy Lip Plumper in the shade Sheer Rose. I don't really have many Pixie products. I want to try more. I just have like the Glow Mist, so definitely I'm excited to try that. 
Next we have something from Ardell. This is their Vinyl Vixen Lip Lacquer in the shade Valentine Ride. Again, I haven't tried anything from Ardell other than like their wispy false eyelashes, so that's cool. Then we have a NYX Butter Gloss, which I've heard good things about. This is the shade Cream Brulee, I'm guessing. Then we have a Lip Comfort Oil from Clarins. It's a little tiny sample size, but I've heard good things about this. Ooh, it's like pretty. That's what that looks like. I've heard good things about that. I don't really know like what lip oils are supposed to do. I know ColourPop has their Luxe lip oils out, um, but I really don't know what the purpose of that is. Why are you knocking down all of my stuffed animals? Then we have something from Bare Minerals. This is their Hydra Smoothing Lipstick. This is in the shade Courage, so it looks like it's going to be a red, so just a little tiny component. They're so cute. I don't mind like little sample sizes because I feel like you're really not going to use all of it unless you use it on a daily basis. And then something from Nabla. Jeez, this looks like almost like a full size product. This is their matte liquid lip in the shade Grace. Ooh, fancy. I haven't tried anything from this brand either. All right, so now we're going to swatch all of those and I'll be right back. So I went to go swatch those and I pulled the L'Oreal one out and it... <laughs> Do you see that? Is that supposed to be like that or is that applicator just really that messed up? It looks like a Smashbox applicator but it is bent to the max. Like how, how does that happen? That can't be... That can't be the way that it's supposed to be. I can't. What the? Ooh, that is strong. Like mint strong. All right, so first up we have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss in the shade Statement Nude. The applicator on this is messed up, but whatever. Then we have the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Champagne Glam. Then we have the Grande Lips Hydrate and Lip Plumper. I'm not a fan of the clicky applicator. It took like 100 clicks for any product to start coming out, and then when it did start coming out, it wouldn't stop. So I had to put a little bit onto my lips, and I can feel kind of the plumping effect going on. Then we have the Pixie Liquid Lip in the Sheer Rose. Then this bright red is the Ardell Vinyl Vixen Lip Lacquer in the shade Valentine Ride. Then this really, really pretty sparkly lip gloss is the Too Faced Lip Gloss in the shade Sunset Crush. Moving down a little bit, we have the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Cream Brulee. Then we have the Clarins Lip Oil in either the shade or like the Taste Candy. It's just like clear, like I might see a little bit of pink there, but again, I'm not really sure what the purpose of a lip oil is. Moving down again, we have the Bare Minerals Lipstick in the shade Courage, and then next to that is the Nabla Liquid Lip in the shade Grace. Alright, so taking the makeup wipe to that hand of swatches, the very last one to come off that needed some more scrubbing and it stained a little bit right here was that Nabla Liquid Lip. So the rest of them were pretty much lip glosses, so they came off pretty easily. So yeah, I have a bunch of new lip products I'm so excited to try. Moving on, I also got something from Sephora that was around National Lipstick Day, and this was worth $84 in value, and I think I only paid $29 for it. Um, it's a little Give Me Shine lipstick set. It has a full size of a Fenty Beauty and a full size of a NARS lipstick, and the rest are supposedly sample sizes. But I thought this was a steal. So in this little kit, it comes with the Lancome Juicy Tubes. This reminds me of like the little like juicy lip glosses that you'd have as like a kid in middle school. Don't know how much this would be worth. 
but I definitely wouldn't spend the money on it because of the brand. And this is in the Shade or Smell or Taste Magic Spell. Then we have the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. It's an instant and long-term lip plumper, and it looks like it's just clear. I don't know if you put that on before or after. I have to look up lip oils and lip plumpers because I've never really used any before, and now I have a bunch. <laughs> All right, next we have something from Patrick Ta. I'm so fancy. It already has a bunch of fingerprints on it because he's got the iconic rose gold packaging. But this is in the shade She's Expensive, and it is a lip gloss. And it probably was expensive. I believe it. All right, now we have another Fenty Beauty lip gloss, and this one is in the shade Fussy. I have the one in Diamond Milk, and I absolutely love this formula, so I'm so happy to have one um, that's not clear. And then the last one is the NARS lipstick, and this is in the shade Orgasm. So, look at that fancy packaging. It's so fancy. Alright, I'm going to swatch these really quick and show you guys what they look like. Alright, so first up we have the Lancome Juicy Tubes Original Lip Gloss in Magic Shell. Then we have the Lip Plumper from Too Faced Cosmetics. Again, it's just clear. Then we have the Patrick Ta Major Lip Shine in She's Expensive. Then we have the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy. And then the last one is actually a Afterglow Lip Balm in Orgasm by NARS. All right, so the last batch that I just swatched all smell delicious. Some that smell more fruity, some smell more minty, but they all smell amazing except for the NARS Lip Balm. I don't think that really, really had a scent. All right, so moving on, we're going to go to Ulta again. Um, the free gift from Ulta for your birthday was this Advanced Genifique Concentrated Youth Activating thing. It's a nice little tiny serum from Lancome again, and I'm kind of disappointed. Like the past couple of years, the birthday gifts have been good. I think last year I got a mascara or a brow product or something. And the year before that, I think it was an eyeshadow palette. And like, those are awesome. And like this, <sighs> honey, that ain't it. That ain't it. Then while I was there, I was really close to getting to platinum status. So I bought a couple of things. One thing that I've never tried that I've been meaning to try is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape but I decided to get the hydrating one. Hopefully this will work a little bit better than the Tarte Shape Tape because sometimes it can be a little drying and it creases on me. So I'm excited to see how the hydrating one will work. And then, you know, since I was there and I saw it and I was like, well, I guess I might as well pick it up on here. I got the Maddie Ziegler palette from Morphe, her collaboration. It just looks so cute and it was there just right in front of me and I was like, might as well. That was a little bit more aggressive than I thought. So this is what the palette looks like. I think this is super, super cute. You got some pastels in there, some shimmers, some glitters. So you get a, a combination of both neutrals and colors. I'm just, I really love, oh, take my nail in there, why don't you? I really like these four colors right here. I'm really, really, really excited to play around with them. I'm not going to swatch the whole palette, but I'm just going to swatch like those four colors and maybe a couple of others to show you guys really quick. All right, so here are a few of the shades swatched. I picked out the ones that I thought were most appealing to me. First up, we have God Mom. Then we have Dancing Queen. Then we have like Butter. And this yellow was kind of disappointing. It came out a lot more neon and a lot more patchy than I thought. And it looks like it's going to be a difficult yellow to play with. But we're going to wait and see how it performs on the eye before we make any final judgments. Then we have five. Then down here we have She Insists, which is a nice like pastel -y purple. Then we have Mint, and it is a pretty mint color. I've been wanting mint eyeshadow colors. I've been needing to get the ColourPop Mint to Be palette. I just haven't yet. And then the last beautiful metallic shimmer is Godfather. So these are some of the shades that were calling out to me. So overall, I'm gonna have to wait until I can actually play with the Maddie Ziegler palette on my eyes before I make any judgments on the formula and how they perform. So we're almost done. Just a few more things from Sephora. So one of the options from Sephora's birthday free gift thing, they had like the Sol de Janeiro minis. They had some of the skincare thing. 
and then the only makeup they had were this little set of trial size milk products. So in here we have the Mini Kush Mascara, the Mini Lip and Cheek Tint, and then the Hydro Grip Primer Sample. Again, these are like the most pathetic sizes ever. I know I already have a Lip and Cheek Tint from Milk. I'm not sure if it's the same one. I'm also not sure if that was supposed to happen. Yeah, so I don't know if this is like the exact same shade or not. This is in the shade Work. I'm not sure what the other one was, but you get a little packet of the Hydro Grip Primer, which is something I've been wanting to try, but look at how small this is. And then we have the mascara. Let's see what the wand looks like. Well, just, you know, standard bristle wand. And then I also got something from Patrick Star's brand. I didn't get, I really got one thing, and it's the only thing that I wanted. I don't really care about the makeup removing stuff or the palette. It seems kind of meh. I mean, the liquid eyeshadow stuff, the lip, they're the eye poppers or whatever they're called, they looked cute, but not at that price. It was kind of pricey. So the only thing I got was the liquid eyeliner pen because I've heard really good reviews about this and I'm always trying to find a really good black stain eyeliner. So hopefully this will be good. All right, so that's what the actual component looks like. It's got a nice little grip thing up here, and that's what the applicator looks like. So I'm really excited to give this a try. I have high hopes for it, and hopefully it doesn't let me down. Then of course, you always get two free samples from Sephora when you buy stuff. And again, they're like the most pathetic things ever. So the samples I got is the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Packet. I got the Vitamin Glow Primer from Smashbox. I got a little perfume because I was like, nah, why not? This is from Mason Margiela Beach Walk. Little sample size of fragrance. I don't really know. And then we have the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which I was like, oh, this would be so exciting to try. I've heard really good things about it. Look, look how tiny that is. That is like the size of like my vitamin C chewable tablets that I used to take. Like that is so, so tiny. So that is my makeup haul. I think I have enough lip products to last me forever and I don't need to buy any more anytime soon. But wait, there's more. So by the time this video should be going up, it should be August 10th and my birthday was this past weekend. So you know what that means. It means I'm finally doing my first giveaway on this channel. So I'm not going to show you guys what's in the box, but I just want to let you guys know the rules, the regulations, and some brands that are going to be included. So we have Jeffree Star, we have Too Faced, we have Tarte, we have Ciate London, we have Illuminati, um, we have the Invisibobbles. So it's a good box. How do you enter the giveaway? You must be subscribed to my channel. You must follow me on Instagram. And then I want you to leave a comment down below and include a way I can contact you. Either Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, email, YouTube, whatever you would like. And that's it. I'm going to have this run until the 24th of August. And then I will do a random name generator to choose the winner and contact them. So you guys will know when the winner has been chosen. So that is today's video. All the information will be included down below. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified when I post a new video. I love you guys. And if you subscribe to my channel, I welcome your feline family. Bye. Yes, you want to get into the box. Go ahead. There you go. Are you happy?